it's Kate's story, and and Tyler really is, you know, I always looked at Tyler as a guy who was trying to remind her about the fun of, of storm chasing. I wanted to start out with Tyler Owens as being a uh, self, <laughs> you know, self-promoting, you know, you, the the what you think uh, what you think he is, which is just a self-promoting you know, adrenaline junkie. And then you realize there's real depth here and he really understands why he chases and what he's chasing and why Kate is something worth chasing. There are very few similarities between storm chasers. They come from all over the world, all different types of backgrounds. The one thing that brings them together is a fascination with this unexplainable phenomenon um, that, that is tornadoes. These are people that wouldn't have found themselves in the same car unless they were all fascinated by the same thing. And I think that the Wranglers really represent that feeling, which is all tornado nerds, you know? They all look different, they all talk different, and they all, uh, they all look at this, this tornado with a different fascination, but at the end of the day, this is what binds them together. So I think, um, I think the Tornado Wranglers represent a family. And that's what Kate's looking for in this movie. There's this really interesting relationship with humans and this, you know, natural phenomenon. And, and you can simultaneously be absolutely terrified of something, but also revere it. And I think that's what this movie really explores. Um, and sometimes that's the most exciting thing, is something that you can't really understand, something that can really hurt you um, to try to better get as close as possible and better understand it. The thing that makes Isaac really special is he's so character driven and he's so in tune with performance and, and authenticity that he never lets effects drive the movie. He always lets character drive the movie and that's where this thing is not gonna go off the rails. Um, and where I think he's the perfect choice for a movie like this because there's still a heartbeat at the center of all this. You know, if you, can, if you can, in the midst of chaos, in the midst of theatrical spectacle, still find the heartbeat and still understand why audiences around the world are gonna engage with this movie, that's what makes Isaac really special. I find to be in this community, to be next to Storm Chasers, the closest I'll ever get to being a superhero. You know, someone who, who really um, has their own superpower in terms of being able to read the wind, you know, and, and chase it and, and, and harness it and, and, and affect it and I think that's what's really fun about this, this story is it's, it's really smart people that are doing really extraordinary things. And that's what makes a movie like this, for me, the, the reason I was like desperate to be a part of this movie, I've never, I've never really identified with extraordinary people doing extraordinary things. I've always identified with ordinary people up against extraordinary odds. And I think that's what is the magic of this movie. What I think is, is are the greatest people on the planet are people that take childhood aspirations and can bring them into adulthood, that can take that idealism that you feel as a kid and really say, despite all the circumstances around it, I think I can still make a difference. So Kate's role in this movie is she had this dream as a kid to be able to disrupt a tornado to basically take that intense power, the power that takes people's homes and, and leaves all this destruction and figure out how to get out ahead of it and use science to save lives. Twist is in, in essence is a film about community and a, a shared love and passion for something. Um, every member of the cast and every member of, of this, or every character in the script has got a similar drive and passion for you know, this thing and this idea of chasing something that's larger than you and I think uh, when you listen to videos um, or podcasts about uh, by real chasers there's this need kind of as a human to to face something so much bigger than yourself and so much easier it really makes you it really puts you into perspective I think so yeah I would say just as a film about shared passion. Kate is someone who has loved chasing all her life she's always had a, a natural affinity for uh, being able to read weather and feel when you know, things are shifting and when a tornado might be about to, to occur. So she's, she's got a really great natural instincts. And when we first meet her, she is passionate about this experiment that she thinks could help to figure out whether they can kind of weaken tornadoes or, or, or make them less dangerous. And she pursues that ardently with a group of friends. Tyler Owens is uh, 
he calls himself the Tornado Wrangler, and I think for Kate, when she first meets him, he is the antithesis of any of anything she'd be interested in. She feels like he's reckless and he's um, sort of just trying to show off for uh, his YouTube followers and that he's really uh, not respecting the the dangers at stake. And I think after what Kate's been through for her, she's just like this this eejit, uh, <laughs> this absolute um, madman. So initially they have quite a, a um, combative relationship. Glenn is phenomenal, Glenn Powell. He's, he's been so much fun to work with. I, I love having a front seat watching him bring this character to life. Um, he has such swagger and, um, and is also able to play such like vulnerability and truth so that you really believe this arc. But um, yeah, he's, he's absolutely smashing it. Anthony Ramos is portraying Harvey um, and he's so brilliant. He's such a fun person to act with and to work with. He's always got insane energy even after five days of night shoots. It's phenomenal. So there's two rival um, chasing teams in this movie. We have Storm Pa, who's led by Harvey, um, and we have Tyler's crew, or the Tornado Wranglers, which is run by Tyler Owens. Um, and they have very different styles of chasing. Um, the Storm Par is more sort of the scientific, the corporate, they're very suited and booted, they've got all the fancy gear. And then Tyler's team are more of the kind of cowboy chasers. They're um, a lot more kind of rough and ready and they have their own like homemade gadgets. And uh, yeah, they're, they're cowboy scientists. We've been all over, we've been to Enid and Pawhuska and all over, you know, towns outside of OKC, uh, outside of Oklahoma City. I think that that gives the movie this element that you wouldn't necessarily get if you were shooting all of it on the stage, right? There's that, there's this element of being outdoors. I mean, like, the wind was so crazy one day, we were shooting out in, again, some field, and the, the wind was so wild that the crane actually fell. It, it, was, it was those kinds of things that made this movie, um, feel that much more real, especially when we're shooting it. Isaac is amazing. Isaac, his, his level of, of uh, creativity and empathy, we're shooting the movie on film, which makes it look cool, makes it look old school. Um, you know, it's, it's just, um, he, he has this, uh, this really amazing sense for everything. I mean, just like, he, for the story, for how it looks, um, you know, this awesome like sensibility, like when it comes to the scenes, really getting to the heart of each scene, really finding the small things that can really make, that can really elevate the scene as well. She brings this heart to, to Kate that is on, it's on the paper, but you can really see it come through in a, in a, in a, in a much bigger way on screen, you know, and when you're in the scenes with her. Um, Daisy's levels are, are endless. I mean, like, she's crying, she's laughing, she's, I mean, she, she, she's got, her range is ridiculous, you know, so um, she's also just amazing to be around all the time. It's, it's awesome to see how Glenn really, Glenn really cares about every scene and he really thinks, thinks about every scene super thoroughly and, and I think that, that Tyler is that way also about what he does, even though Tyler he knows how to have fun doing what he does. He's still incredibly intelligent. People live a whole life like this. People chase every day. That is what they do day in and day out. These are real people. This is a real profession. This is a, a lifestyle that people really take seriously. And, um, and, and the data that they're collecting actually helps. It really does help people, it helps save lives. And, and they're constantly working on this and they're constantly um, working to uh, be better uh, at, at what they do. Storm Par is an organization uh, that was founded by uh, my partner, Javi, played by Anthony Ramos. We're all wearing our uniforms. We have a very strict code of conduct. We take ourselves quite seriously, and we're a, we're a serious um, uh, foil juxtaposition to the, to the storm chasers led by Tyler, who are much more uh, having a great time, posting it on YouTube. What is very real are the vehicles and the, uh, and the shots of us racing through the dirt and, you know, screeching around corners. Um, the, uh, the, the wind and dust and rain and hail are all real. 
which is uh, very helpful for an actor because it's hard to be terrified uh, when you're just driving along at a nice clip or, or being you know, bumped along in a, uh, in a production studio somewhere. Isaac, I think, brings a real grounded um, character and story focused approach to a huge blockbuster action film, basically. So hopefully in, in the end, what we're gonna see is all of these huge set pieces and these stunts and these special effects and these practical effects and these great performances are all gonna just, no pun intended, funnel down into a real heart of a film, um, a film that tells a story of people and, and people growing and changing and, and getting closer and getting farther away and ultimately ending up uh, triumphing. Twisters is a film about um, storm chasers, people who are fascinated um, as well as kind of perplexed by tornadoes and are kind of going on this journey, whether it's just for the chaos of it or to actually try to make an impact on the future of living in a place like Oklahoma with a lot of tornadoes. Our little weather boot camp, I was so happy to be there, like a little nerd. Um, I have all the PowerPoints saved, like all the different, um, what would it be like, just like dictionary for it, kind of the vocab that they use. That is like basically everyone in Oklahoma's natural language. Um, they taught us everything. They, we got to go in the center of where they're actually tracking the weather. Um, I think the main guy's name is like Rick, who actually sends out the alerts to people. It's so sick. It's crazy. It's really fascinating. Like weather, I'm oddly obsessed now. As a team, you know, we've got Tyler who really knows the storm. Uh, we have Boone who's kind of our social media expert <laughs> um, and hype man. And then we have Lily who has, uh, she's got her drones which really help uh, navigate and keep us safe as well and get uh, intel and all of that. And then um, Dexter is really good at the, like the, the analog work, so like plotting maps um, by hand as opposed to like the digital overlay. And uh, Danny kind of navigates. So it's kind of like we all have a little bit of a, um, uh, we know our role in terms of what we're gonna do when we, um, when we encounter a storm. Isaac is, I feel like, an actor's director. He, he really does uh, trust you, trust your performance, um, and he, he picks people that he knows brings exactly what he wants for the character. So, um, and then if there's any notes that he gives, it's usually something that's so subtle. Um, and so maybe even so simple, but it completely changes uh, the scene, the mindset, the relationship. So I think he's really, really good at, um, at manifesting pure and beautiful relationships between people and identifying chemistry and, um, and seeing how, how all of those relationships can work together and then also incorporating the environment and the severity of it. Twisters is a film about having a passion um, or an internal vocation that you kind of get swayed from, and then for some reason, you know, uh, whether it's uh, necessity or emergency, you come back to um, finding this thing that you're supposed to do and putting aside your fears um, of doing it. I would say that's what it's mainly about, and I would say it's also about um, you know, you, f you find a crew to do this thing with and really enjoying being part of a team who's doing something that's kind of crazy that not everyone else understands. You've got these, you know, call action, wind machines, start up, pre-action, you call action, and it's just chaos, people running everywhere, the wind in your eyes, your eyeballs are drying out while you're trying to deliver lines and trying to find the people you're supposed to deliver lines to. Um, so that's, you know, when you say like, what's that like to act against? It's like, there's not a lot of acting <laughs> you know, going on. It's like the adrenaline of, of that action. Like, like my, bo my brain knows it's not real. My body does not know that it's not real. <laughs> I play the character of Boone, um, and Boone is the right hand man to Tyler. Just the, the fun guy that's willing to have fun and go chase anything and thrive within the danger 
and there to put his own life on the line to help others as well. Um, but having a blast while doing it. And I think that's like the key portion of it. And uh, I uh, really was inspired by Philip Seymour Hoffman in the original Twister to be just that fun, kooky light within the film. And that's, I, I hope I'm portraying that. And it's even so hard to even say like inspired by Philip Seymour Hoffman because that's one of the greatest actors of all time. So uh, hopefully I hold even just a, a pinky nail to <laughs> that type of energy. <laughs> Glenn is honestly one of my favorite actors I've ever worked with. He's so collaborative. Uh, I've, I've honestly never had this level of collaboration with another actor before prior to shooting. Like, we had a week of um, um, pre-production here in Oklahoma, and we were texting all the time. He's sending me ideas about my character, his character, and how we can really connect and bond. So. I just really appreciate that level of communication, especially for how close our characters are in the film. I, I, the fact that he was reaching out so much, you, you could just tell he really cares about the story, the film, and the relationships within it as well. So working with Glenn has been a dream. We have real chasers that are on set every day, uh, which is amazing to have because if there's a bit of confusion or something, or we just want a question answered because we're, we're all, really chasing genuine, authentic feel with this film. And uh, we want the chasers to be represented in a good light as well, where we're really respecting their art form and their craft um, and their jobs. Uh, so yeah, it's great to have real people on site where we can be like, hey, what does this question truly mean? Like, what, why am I asking this? And they can give you the answer right there. There is no way to emulate the, the beauty of the Oklahoma plains to, to capture the greens of the grass and uh, to capture how big that sky looks when a storm is coming in. Um, the, the clouds don't just do one thing in Oklahoma. You see them changing shape. You get these incredible striations. You get mammatus clouds. Um, there's a lot of beauty that's happening right overhead. Um, a lot of times people on our crew would be saying, I've never seen clouds do this before. Is this normal? They would, they would say. Um, so it was, it was just wonderful to be on the ground filming things that we could only get right there in Oklahoma. Kate Carter to me is uh, a very inventive and brilliant person. She's, she has kind of the qualities that any uh, brilliant scientist has. She, she has a childhood dream. She imagines something very big when she's young. Uh, an impossible what if. What if we could actually tame a tornado? What if we could disrupt one of these storms? Um, just like any of us who have childhood dreams, she faces an incredible setback. And then she faces self-doubt and fear. And then she has to go on a journey to figure out and rediscover that joy of what she had as a kid again. Daisy Edgar Jones did an incredible job uh, giving life to this character and imbuing her with so much strength. Um, uh, I, I was thinking to myself that uh, for my daughter, who's 10 years old, uh, the types of films that I want her to see, I want her to be able to see heroes who she can relate to. Like my daughter's really into science. Um, there aren't that many movies about uh, women scientists who are superheroes in a way. Um, so this was a chance for me to make a movie that uh, could be a, a somewhat of a role model for her. Tyler Owens is played by uh, Glenn Powell. And uh, Glenn is, uh, Glenn's a great guy. He's from Texas. Glenn is one of the smartest actors I know, for sure. Um, he's also incredibly funny, incredibly spontaneous, and he's got a wicked wit to him. That combination to me is a perfect Tyler Owens in the film. Um, Glenn is Tyler Owens. I mean, when, when I saw him with that cowboy hat uh, coming out of that pickup truck, uh, I, I just knew we cast that thing perfectly. For me, movie theaters are all about uh, us coming up close and personal to things that are much bigger than us, um, specifically to things that scare us, like tornadoes. That's what movie theaters allow us to do. Um, that's what I wanted Twisters to be all about, to give audiences a chance to get up and close, uh, up close and personal to storms and to tornadoes that normally we have no right seeing. 
And uh, I want them to experience the utter power of nature as well. So the things that we've done with the sound design, VFX, special effects, and with the actors, it's all meant to be something that puts us right there in Tornado Alley chasing after a tornado. There's a classic dynamic between Javi, Kate, and Tyler. And Javi is infatuated with Kate, okay? And seeks her out both because of her tornado skills and also because he's in love with her. And so he talks her to coming back in and meeting, you know, and working for him in Oklahoma. And then she's sort of softening up towards him and the audience is gonna go, well, maybe there could be a romance brewing here. And then Tyler shows up. Tyler's probably the best looking guy you've seen in like 10 years. And he's just incredibly handsome, really cocksure and just so happy with himself. But Kate doesn't like that because Kate can see that sort of attitude is something that she's not interested in. She's a much more serious personality. And so you watch how this balance goes. When you take a look at the evolution of these strong female characters in movies, particularly ones who science is really the, the, their skill set and how they use that in order to figure out what's going wrong, come up with the solution, manage the people around them who don't believe what it is that they have to say, and eventually carry the day because they make the right judgments at the right time. And then you watch them and they go beyond just being smart, just being uh, talented, they're heroic. And I think that's the great thing about the Kate character is that she is somebody who at the end of the movie says, you know what, my friends died for this, people have put their lives on the line for this, I'm not gonna stop until I face that tornado. And when she does, I think the audience, it's real stand up and cheer. With the ever changing weather patterns that we have and the frequency of tornadoes now uh, that seem to be touching down every weekend and all across the heartland and um, doing more damage and destruction than ever before, we thought, well, maybe we should revisit and come up with a new story about twisters and uh, what um, is happening in the scientific world to try and reduce or prevent or minimize the impact that twisters have. You can't beat going to the real place. It's very authentic. Uh, it brings uh, a lot of things that you wouldn't imagine if you were shooting somewhere else. Just accidents will happen or those little um, surprising things that come along and make the movie more realistic. And so Isaac was very keen on going back to Oklahoma. Um, we had a great time there in the first one and we had a really, really uh, wonderful time on this one because it's actually where these kind of situations happen. 